in this video i will show you how to use chat gpt to uh, create content that is unique that is um, engaging and that your clients will love so let's get started okay so let's get started so the first thing that you have to do is to go to chat gpt and put the prompt that i have you can find this in the description box below up same prompt use kar sakte ho just change the language and the topic chat gpt aapko bahut sare options dega in a tabular form now we are going to pick whatever we think suits the best kyunki hum log traveling list tra uh, packing hacks kar rahe hain we are going to be picking things that are not so common so what i am going to do right now is to uh, take the subhead use the explanation as the first sentence and then use a unique angle that i asked chat gpt as a pro tip jahan bhi sense make kar raha hai hum log wahi pe pro tip dalenge um otherwise we are just going to use it as a part of the explanation of the subhead to main ye fatafat kar leti hu i am going to only pick the ones that i think um are great suggestions by chat gpt and not everything blindly isko thoda sa time isliye bhi lag raha hai because i'm reading the content as i am um putting it in the doc so i have skipped over things like packing list or packing checklist because um it doesn't make sense it's a very common thing and uh, sabko pata hai ki packing list hona chahiye so it doesn't make sense to include it in an article where we are going to give them unique uh, packing hacks to main usko skip kar rahi hu i think the use of shoe space was a great idea so i'm going to put that in Now what you can do with AI is you can train AI. So ये बहुत लोगों को पता नहीं होता है that you can train the AI. So what I am going to tell him, uh, tell AI is that you know the suggestions that you give me are boring. So give me more suggestions. So here are some more suggestions that ChatGPT has given me. अगर ये भी आपको समझ में नहीं आएगा, you can keep asking him to give you more unique angles and uh, more creative solutions to packing. So I'm going to give. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, roll bells inside collars because um, I never thought of it. Seems like a unique angle to put in the article. So let's see what ChatGPT has to say the third time. I think store uh stuffing socks for gadgets is something that definitely works I'm going to put that in Scarf as a multi-purpose tool also makes sense so let's just put that in um okay nothing else makes sense to me um seems like chat gpt is running out of unique angles that have not been covered so just let me try once more give me more ideas da, 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 da. okay electronics cable organizer seems like a good idea to use your sunglasses case i'm going to maybe put that one in the article so as i'm reading it i am also correcting it a little bit because i don't like using the exact ai language let me ask uh, chat gpt to give me additional ideas that are maybe smart may not be unique so packing essential in carry on is definitely something i'm going to put in it's from my personal experience that you should and layering clothes um i did that recently so i'm going to put that in So I think we have ten heads. So I'm going to stop here.
now we are going to look at some unique angles that you can put um so let's say how do packing cubes help save space while packing so chat gpt will explain you exactly how it does that so we are going to see what we can pick from this like i said i don't use the same sentences i sometimes mix and match stuff uh, from places so we are going to do that Flexibility, easy access seems very normal. I'm going to be adding this portion um, and add it as a part of the sentence itself. So we have covered everything that Charles GPT gave us in one sentence. So I'm just going to copy the prompt and change it to rolling clothes. I'm just going to form the sentence here so you know how exactly I'm going to do this. Everything else seems very repetitive so that's the only sentence that I'm going to use. Seems like we already sort of have it but um, I like the one that we created right now. So I'm going to change the sentence and use this one instead which includes all the benefits of folding clothes. Now let's do it for vacuum bags. So this is uh, one addition that we can definitely make. Now, sometimes AI claims stuff that is not factually correct. So I'm going to just go and do a quick fact check on whether or not this is true, that vacuum bags help moisture, dust and odor. Now, usually when I am doing this, I make sure that, uh, you know, the information that I'm taking from the website is credible and the website itself is sort of credible. So I look for a high domain authority website before I take any content or I, or I trust the information that is written on the internet. You can use Moz DA for that. It's a free tool that you can install on your Google Chrome. So there are certain heads for which they, it makes no sense. Um, so let me do it for scarf. Can a scarf be really used for multi-purpose uh, things during a travel? So it will show me what all a scarf can be used for. And I can add that information into the subhead. So I'm going to say something like... Um, you can also be creative about using scarves and maybe use it for let's see what's not already covered. So I mask, um, travel pillow and use it as a privacy screen for changing clothes uh, in an emergency situation. I'm going to be adding a few personal experiences so that we can give a personal touch to this article. So the last year when we traveled to Bali, Vietjet sort of forgot our luggage in Vietnam and it was misplaced and we got it almost after like six to seven hours. And it once happened in Thailand a few years back when they misplaced our luggage in Kuala Lumpur. So I'm just going to um, write about my experience a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit that we have experienced this and having essentials in and carry on is, an, is a very important and a helpful thing if it ha ever happens to you. 
I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to provide me examples of how you can layer clothes so we can add a few more lines maybe on that front. So I'm just reading what it has to give me. Okay. Um, I'm just going to maybe club it into one sentence and say things like, you know, you can maybe match up a denim jacket with a floral dress and a plain t-shirt with a button up and uh, a cardigan maybe. So let me just write that sentence and finish this off. So this will be about creating a unique angle for a few pointers that you have in your article to give it a unique touch. So I'll do that. Now, uh, you may not have these unique angles for everything. So the other way of adding something unique to your article um, is to use statistics. So we are going to be finding a few statistics and I can show you how you can do that for everything. So packing cube save space statistics. Let's see if you can find something. Um, doesn't look like we are going to be finding any percentage or any stats. So let me see if we can find it for rolling clothes. I'm going to remove save space because I think that's the culprit here. Right, so here we go. 70% of respondents choose to fold clothes rather than using rolling method, something cheap flight. So I'm just going to check the DA um, using the MOZ and it's 63. So it seems like a good website to cite on my article. And the statistics also makes sense here. So I'm going to quote this in the article. So I'm, we are going to say according to a survey by Cheap Flights. Just let me check if it is Cheap Flights because sometimes articles refer to something else and you want to link it to the source survey or the source research. So it's Cheap Flights. Um, we are going to change a few things here. I am very strict with formatting. So... I think I have OCD with formatting. So let me just do that as well. Okay. So we are just going to take the link from Cheap Flights and put it as a bank link as well. Um, let me make sure that the next sentence is um, in line and it reads smoothly. So this seems like this seems good enough. So we're going to copy the link and hyperlink here. Okay, so we are done. Mm, then we can find a few more things. Let's say, let's find it out how many luggages or how many times somebody loses their luggage or it's misplaced or the baggage is delayed. So we can have that in to make it a more strong point about packing your essentials in the carry on luggage. I also look at the dates. So when you are citing any source, you don't want to uh, source something which was yours back because you can always have a latest statistics. So I'm just going to filter it out with last month and see if there was something that was released recently that I can use that makes the article more compelling. A year back is still fine. So if you are writing it in 2024, something in 2023 makes sense because uh, probably the same survey hasn't been yet conduct conducted yet in 2024. Um, 
so I'm just going to see what fits. It's taking a little bit of time, but you can see how this research is conducted. So you don't end up citing anything wrong. Obviously, all of us wants to impress our writing clients. doesn't look like I'm going to get something else so I think I'm going to use the one that Guardian has put on that 80% were delayed and um, XYZ was damaged so I'm just going to put that and create one sentence out of it instead of having two so this is also an aviation data survey it is not from the Guardian so we are not going to be linking back to the Guardian but we are going to be linking back to SITA's website, the survey link. So the annual insights report. Just going to add one more sentence here that it seems like quite a lot of baggages are generally delayed, damaged or stolen or lost. Um, then comes my personal experience and then we give the tip of packing essentials in carry on. I am just going to use Grammarly and fix a few things in the article um, to make sure that is grammatically correct and maybe shorten sentences a little bit. So that's done. Um, we are going to write a first person or a good introduction, which does now sound like a lot of AI. Um, so la write a relatable introduction to this post on best packing hacks for travel. Include the challenges faced by the travelers and how these solutions can help them pack better or pack efficiently. So it's going to give me a very long introduction and I'm not going to be cut copy pasting this because I don't like AI generated um, introductions very much. I'm just going to take on the lines that I think makes sense. So that's about it. So things like exhilarating is an AI word um, adventure, exploration, exaggerating th stuff is a major sign that you have used AI. So we are going to be rewriting this into simple and conversational English. And voila, we have a great introduction right now. I'm just going to fix a few things and then we are going to be using the introduction that chat GPT gave us. Fix it with Grammarly. So I use Grammarly Premium. It's totally worth the money and I do suggest it if you're doing it professionally to have Grammarly Premium. So there we go. We have the introduction. Uh, so the one thing that I'm going to do in the introduction is also add stats. So we I'm going to see if there is any report which talks about how many travelers generally struggle with packing. And I see a few things. So here is a report wherein Americans have tagged packing as one of their top challenges while they travel. So I'm going to put that in. So make sure that, you know, whatever article you are writing and whatever stats that you're including is for the country that you are aiming for. I generally write for American audience. So I generally pick up stats that are for them. I'm just going to add that to the introduction to make it a little bit more interesting. Let me do that quickly. and link back to the research. I checked the DA, it was 63, seems like a good website.
I'm just a stickler for formatting. Um, just ignore all of this. I'm going to write a concluding paragraph. So what I do is to ask ChatGPT to write a short to the point, engaging and with a call to action conclusion, and then cut, copy, paste the entire article into the ChatGPT space. So ChatGPT knows the entire context for which it's writing a conclusion. It generally tends to um, give you the same thing in lesser words. So I don't generally take that. I'm going to take the last few sentences and create a short conclusion. going to remove for your next adventure because it seems too repetitive so there you go you have the introduction you have the heads and you have the conclusion now I go to text optimizer and I see if it is optimized enough for the search engines I generally aim to have something which is above 80 percent so let me just see what's the Okay, so it's uh, optimized above 80%. If it is not, you can use the words that is listed below uh, to optimize it a little better. Then I go to Hemingway app to see that the readability score is above or usually around 8, 9 or 10. So that means that it is easily readable. All the red sentences here can be changed to simpler sentences, but I'm not going to be touching that a lot because I think 9 is a good score. But if you want to make it an easier read, then you can work on these sentences and make it um, smaller, shorter or easier to read. The next up is Grammarly Premium. I'm just going to go see if there is any plagiarism on this article. I also see that the overall score on Grammarly is 98. That means it's a great article. It shows some amount of plagiarism. I'm just going to go and check and see what needs to be changed and change those sentences because I don't like having plagiarism on my articles. I'm going to change the sentence formations, add new language. These are the research ones. These are okay if it shows up as plagiarized because these are direct sentences from the research itself. So we are just going to leave that for now. So you see that AI copies stuff a lot. So we are going to change that to our own language. So make sure that you do this step and not skip over this. It's an important thing to have a unique article. Just going to check once more how much is the plagiarism. Still shows 2%. Just going to go check and do some more changes. I'm also going to go and change the statistic a little bit, the sentences for the statistics a little bit. You can actually use ChatGPT for the same thing as well. Just ask them to rewrite the sentence into a different format. You can do that as well. But I like to add my own language because it then helps it not read like an AI. So there we go. We have 0% plagiarism. I'm just going to format it a little bit. And we are ready to go.
Now, the last step after all this is I do some competition research to see if there is any point left out or if there is anything that I should be adding. So I'm just going to go to Google. I have downloaded an app, a Chrome extension, which basically helps me see all the listicles, all the subheads for the listicles in one go instead of, you know, scrolling, scrolling and scrolling because that can get tiring and annoying as well. So instead of doing scrolling like the way that I am right now, you can just use this Chrome extension, go to headings and it will show you every subhead that this article has. So I'm just going to go through some research and see if there is anything that I need to add. I'm not going to be adding that to the article right now. But that's something that you can do to make your article look better. If this tutorial was helpful, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are in need of it. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.